There are three major items, especially in federal prison, that you cannot get on every yard. And so they are extremely valuable when you do come across them. So let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. This is your first time on the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Well, here we are again out in the good old country. I'm sitting in the car. Actually, this is my wife's truck today. I'm sure you guys can hear this chainsaw running in the background. I don't know what they're doing over there. Obviously taking down a forest. But today we're going to talk about three items, man. Very special items that very rarely come across a prison compound. And so when they do... They fetch a very, very decent price. But before I get into that, I guess I got to go ahead and explain this. Any of you guys that's been rocking with me since day one know whenever I can't find my shades, I will go for any shades that I can get my hands on. Because as I said in yesterday's video, no, nope, not yesterday, day before. Anyway, my last video, I got to get back on my trademark, which is my shades. So yes, I have been known to grab my wife's shades, my teenage daughter's shades, or even my three-year-old daughter's shades. As long as I got them on, I feel like myself. So without further ado, man, let's get into the very first item. And you know what? I was going to save the best for last, but I'm going to come out blasting out the gate with the very best one first. These are called the Koss Porta Pro headphones. Listen, let me tell you, these headphones are the most legendary headphones ever made. I would have them out here. I just haven't looked into buying any. I'm going to have a link in the description of this video to all the items that I'm talking about. If you want to go over to Amazon to see about getting you some. Listen, these things are amazing. The sound quality, the bass reproduction, the lightweight. As you can see from the other picture, they actually fold up so they're portable. And I know they're not Bluetooth or anything like that, man. But I looked on Amazon and you can get a pair for like 30 bucks. And let me tell you something, that's the deal of the century. Here's why they're so highly valued on a prison yard. And that is because not all the yards in the feds carry these things. Now, whenever I was in the state, I think they had them everywhere that I went. I'm not sure about that. No, you know what? Because I was at a prison in Georgia that only allowed you to have the plastic cost headphones. So you could get like the R20s, uh, CL20s, the clear ones. Anyway... These headphones, they don't sell them on every federal prison compound. So when a guy would come to where I was and have a pair, these things would go for like $200 sometimes or however many books of stamps, whatever the compound price was at the time. I think it was like 20, 20 books of stamps because they were going for five bucks. Anyway, trust me, you will not be disappointed with these headphones, man. These things were made probably 20 years ago or more. And they will rock with some of the best headphones out there. The second thing that's really highly valued on a prison yard, you would not believe it, wife beaters. Another item that they do not sell at all the prisons. So when people come with them, man, you can get like $10, $15 for one wife beater. And if you get lucky and get one that's gray or black, I have hardly ever seen those. Those things are like unicorns on a prison yard. You could probably get anything you wanted for those. I have personally seen my celly pay $50 for a three pack of wife beaters, A shirts, whatever it is that you want to call them. And last but not least, the third thing that is highly valued on some prison yards, Keefe Coffee. I know all of you that have done any kind of time, whether it be county jail, state prison, feds, you know about Keefe Coffee. This coffee, just like the cost headphones, is legendary. You want to rock with the big boys man you want to be a convict you gotta have the keefe coffee they don't sell it on every yard so i've seen some of this stuff go for 10 and 15 dollars a bag whenever it comes in as you see from the picture man the yellow bag i'm telling you this stuff is amazing it's colombian coffee instant you got to try it bottom line period point blank you cannot do your time without that keefe coffee you get up you got to go straight down to that 190 hot water spigot. You got to get that hot water and you got to get that coffee in your system. So there it is, guys. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet today. I was just scrolling through Facebook, man, and I don't even know what triggered the video, but I was just like, man, cost Porter Pro headphones. One thing led to another, and I started thinking about three things that were really highly sought out, and I figured it would make a good video. 
you guys leave a comment, man. Let me know uh, if you're going to go check some of that stuff out or even if you already have had it and what you think about it. Do you agree? Do you think that the cost headphones are the most legendary ever made? Uh, is Keefe Coffee the best that there ever was? I'm, I'm sure it's the strongest. I can say that as far as prison coffee goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Until next time. Thank <music> you.